Happy Friday, everyone. Well, it looks like we're going to get a dry morning commute in, but after that, it looks like we're going to be dodging showers and storms for the rest of the day, Saturday and Sunday. So let's get to all the details and your weekend forecast sponsored by Nipsco. I think the earliest we might start to see a stray shower pop up in the region today is 9 a.m. Just as the morning commute is coming to an end. But I tell you what, I do think the better chance of rain with this initial round of activity is going to be around lunchtime. Some gaps, so we're talking about isolated showers and weak storms around, but looking like the most likely time that this initial round is going to be around noon, 1 o'clock. And then we jump ahead to 4 o'clock, and it looks like a little bit of a break in the activity. Not much going on. Maybe a stray shower, too, but pretty dry overall. And we've got to talk about the temperatures that we're going to be seeing. So with all the clouds and that isolated shower activity that's going to be around, look at these temperatures at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Low 70s showing up, maybe 69 in Michigan City. We'll probably top out in the mid-70s for highs. But that's probably about as warm as it's going to be, well below normal for this time of year. And we're not done with the rain. This is not going to be clearing out because look what's going to happen after 4 o'clock. Activity is going to start to fill back in just in time for our Friday evening plan. So here's 6 o'clock. And with this second round of activity, I do think there might even be a little bit better chance at some storms popping up. I'm not worried about severe storms. Look at that shade of orange showing up. Some heavy rain and lightning spots. Here we are at 8 o'clock, and it looks like this is going to be the peak for the second round. So Friday evening dinner plans. Eh? <laughs> if you're going to go out... And definitely carry an umbrella. It's looking like a pretty good chance of rain. That said, it looks like the peak's going to be around 8 o'clock. And by the time we get to 10 o'clock, the activity's starting to die down and shifting to the south. And then I think by midnight, it'll be completely dry. So it does look like better chance of rain the earlier you're going to be out tonight than the later. And we will catch a relatively break in the activity by midnight. As far as how much rain we're going to see, I think most of us, when it's all said and done by the end of the evening tonight, we're going to see half an inch to an inch, but I'm not going to rule out in a couple spots up to two inches of rain occurring, but not enough for any flooding issues. So let's jump ahead to tomorrow morning, because I think beginning in the early morning hours, another little area of isolated showers and storms is going to work over the region. But I do think it's just during the morning hours. Look what happens when we get into the afternoon, one o'clock. That area of rain, gone. And I actually think that tomorrow afternoon is going to be quite nice. Now, it's going to be warmer than today. because not going to be seeing as much rain around. I do think we're going to be topping out in the low to mid-80s uh, across the area. But that's not too bad. There's not going to be much wind around. And I do have to mention, though, though the afternoon hours are looking dry, a chance of rain coming back for the evening. Now, it doesn't look as wet as this evening is going to be. But I do need to mention the chance for some isolated showers and storms, but notice how it just stays isolated activity early evening hours and even late into the night. The rain chance is there, but it's not a guarantee that you're going to encounter rain if you're going to go out Saturday evening. So if you're trying to make plans about which evening to go out, I do recommend Saturday evening over this evening. As far as daytime weather goes, I'm encouraging you to do the outdoor activities on Saturday because for Sunday, the rain chance is looking better, especially in the afternoon hours. Now, if you're going to do stuff Sunday, I do encourage you to do it during the morning hours. I still think there's going to be isolated activity around Sunday morning, but I do think the better chance for scattered shower and storms is going to be in the afternoon. And with that better rain chance on Sunday, look our temperatures cooling back down once again, probably topping out around 78 degrees. Another day where not much wind expected, though, just 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now, I'm going to be keeping an eye on all of this activity throughout the weekend, so look for additional updates.